All right, we're back with more random battles to the top. We are 2248, which is not bad. I actually don't know where that is. Maybe top 500 ish. Uh, let's hyper voice for damage. They can't really dragon dance. For a giraffe, is too tanky. The level's too high. So, not really. They kind of have to switch. I could future sight predicting that. Let's do that in instead. Also, a reminder to subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're trying to hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year, month, not sure. But either way, it'll help out a lot and it's free. So if you're watching the channel for a while now, uh, much appreciated if you do subscribe. We'll go ho -oh here. They spirit break. Now they're in a tough spot. They either have to let Grimmsnarl get burned or expose their other Pokemon to future sight if they go to like a special attacker. They do Thunder Wave. They're going to let Grimmsnarl get burned. They do. Okay. Now we can keep attacking. They're not reflect. Um, they're not reflect light screen. I don't think. No, actually they could be. They could be reflect light screen. They have leftovers, so they're not. Okay. Yeah, that was a long way around. So Spirit Break, Sucker Punch, Taunt, T-Wave. No real reason to taunt ho -Oh. I'm always going to Sacred Fire. I guess you can stop me from recovering after you sucker punch here, but I am always going to go for the burn. They could go to Zekrom and risk, risk it all on Sacred Fire burn. I don't think they'd do that. They'd probably rather give up Grimmsnarl and then go to Zekrom right after to substitute on Ho-Oh. Yeah, 18% there. I'm actually going to be very mindful of that uh, situation happening, so I'll have to play around Zekrom trying to farm Ho-Oh. How do I do that? I can go to Altaria, maybe? Nah. Maybe for Ridgeraf, I get taunted. Lycanroc is tough, too. I, uh, It's tricky. I do have Terra Ground Altaria. I have to play around that Zekrom. Let's go to Ferrigiraf. They T-wave me. Again, that's kind of obvious. It's a good play from them because I kind of have to switch. I'm going to Future Sight and then Hyper Voiced. That way I have a Future Sight on Zekrom after. It's a little annoying to get uh, this many paralysis off, but it'll have to do. We hyper voice, go Altaria, and we may have to Terra Ground. Is Spirit Break okay? Hyper voice, we pick it up. We have Future Sight. I actually don't know how the calculations go. Does Future Sight take into account both special attack drops or only one? I would think only one, which is the drop that happened over here. But. I guess we'll find out. I do think Zekrom would come in to substitute on Ferrigiraf. No, they go Slokin Galar. Okay. I don't mind that too much. I'm going to go back to Ho-Oh. Psychic Noise, don't care. That took a lot of damage. Now again, I threaten Sacred Fire Burn into everything. So I doubt... Is that Leftovers? No, it's Boots probably. Yeah, it's Heavy Duty Boots. Get that burn. Earthquake. Okay, maybe not. I can also recover. Oh, I can't because of Psychic Noise. Again, I have to be very careful with how I position around the Zekrom. They're going to Psychic Noise. Do I go greedy and go Gothitelle? I can try and Calm Mind win. I'm going to try that. They go Hydrapple, okay. I'm pretty sure this could be AV Dragon Tail, but I'm pretty sure that Calm Mind is fine. Okay, it went all out. That's unfortunate. Come on. Yep, unfortunate. 30% 30, 30 and a 30%. That's 9% for that to happen. I would have got I would have removed Hydrapple 2 for Volcanion and Ho-Oh. Uh, but it can't be helped. And Stone Edge doesn't KO Hydrapple. That is amazing. I should have figured that out first. Okay. Let's try again, Lycan Rock. Try again. Now, 
I think we can still win with Dragon Dance Altaria with Earthquake. They're looking weak, like Terra Ground Altaria is probably still winning. Obviously, I would rather have Hydrapple be dead right now, but we can still win with Altaria. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think they have a good switch, and maybe they get they lose Hydrapple here, but... Okay, Lycanroc. Now what? Now what? Hmm. Well... We can go Altaria, but the problem is they tear a dragon if they know about what I'm trying to do, and they win. I guess we go Ferrigiraffe. We Hyper Voice, maybe. But they keep Fickle Beaming through Ferrigiraffe here. Okay, 44. Yep. They get one more attack into me. And like then after that I get farmed by Zekrom. T-Wave, Spam, and Zekrom is a really good combo. Okay, they have Illumise too, which means my Altaria strategy doesn't work. But Ho-Oh is kind of fine though. Brave Bird, hopefully into Hydrapple. Okay, Sloking Galar. Okay, no damage. Critical hit. At least we got the Earthquake off. I could also Terror Ground Volcanion too. Maybe that's the play. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use my Terror Ground. The question is how. Okay. Just need to be able to get attacks off. There we go, okay. Get it weakened, they go to Hydrapple. I'm gonna have to give up Ho-Oh at this point. We go to Altaria. I Brave Bird. Okay, this is going to be good. If I can... Okay, I have Natural Cure. Okay, this is good. I go to Volcanion, and I Terra Ground. Do I do it yet? No, I don't do it yet. Because they're not going to Bolt Strike immediately. They're going to Dragon Dance, and now I do it. Yep, there we go. Almost... Now, Flame Charge does not KO, unfortunately. I would have loved to Flame Charge there. Flamethrower. Okay. Not that bad. We we brought it to a 3-on-3. Three -three. We had to give up Terra, but... Oh, Vile Bloom. We beat that. Well. Okay. Does Altaria beat Vile Bloom? I feel like it should. But I have no idea if that's true. Probably not. I actually, Altaria does not beat Vile Bloom. We have to get a little lucky here. Protect through uh, paralysis. Twenty-five percent chance, right? Or is it thirty? I don't know. Okay. Now they're gonna use. They're gonna try and psychic noise me. Probably. I just need to get attacks off. That's what I need. Some way to damage the opponent would be very helpful. Okay. Okay. Let's wish. If they psychic noise, they faint. Okay, they don't. That's good. Protect. They're only at two slack off now. Okay. Now they're going to fickle beam through me. Maybe if I kept Gothitelle alive. But I think Furigiraffe can hyper voice through these Pokemon. It depends though. If I get unlucky with fickle beam, it's all over. But 
Just need to get an attack off. If I can attack through paralysis, maybe Altaria can win if they don't have the right move combinations. Okay. They're, they only have one Fickle Beam left, so I actually wish here. They only have one Fickle Beam. There we go, okay. Let's Future Sight now. Hyper Voice. And now anything comes in is going to get hit. Okay, including me. Okay, what about... They're only at one slack off. Let me protect. I want leftovers. Future Sight. I want to time Future Sight into their other Pokemon. Okay. Okay, I get a Future Sight off. They're out of slack off now. Let me uh, protect. Okay, maybe I won't protect. Protect again. The trick is going to be... Okay. They're going to Draco Meteor, I think. I'm going to go Altaria on that. I'm going to faint. Now I can heal. So maybe Ferrigiraf can do it. Actually, I think we do do it. We definitely do it. Because a, a Vile Plume can't heal on me. Okay. 34. 44. Wish. We have to stay at a high enough HP for not to faint to Draco Meteor. Okay. They have 12 Sludge Bomb. I have 11 Wish. Come on, Wish. There we go. We can stall out Sludge Bomb to be at a high enough HP to beat Draco Meteor. Or is that too much wishful thinking here. We can hold on. I didn't think we would win the game, but we might be able to hold on. How long is it? It's been 14 minutes for one game. Ranbats can be miserable like that. Sometimes you get nice quick games. Sometimes you have to take an hour to play. Okay, crit. Wish again. Again, they're only at 8. Wish. Protect. Now this may or may not faint. If it faints, perfect. Okay, that's bad. It does faint. Okay. How much does Draco do to me? Draco maximum damage is 76 here. So I'll have to wish. Okay, come on, wish. Now I have to protect. Okay, we get it. Now we have to avoid crit, and they're low on Draco PP. We literally win by struggle stalling here. No crit, and we win. No crit, and we win, I say, as I get paralyzed. No. Do we protect, or do we wish? 33. Their next Draco is going to do 25-ish. I protect. Okay. Three left. Wish. Two left. Okay, we're out of range of Draco now. All we have to do is avoid crit. Which means protecting is better odds. Even if it fails, that 25% is better to avoid crit. Because we don't gain any value by wishing at that point. Okay, we get the win. That took an entire year to get through. And we got unlucky the whole time. But we did get the win. Let's keep going. Magmortar into Golduck. That's kind of bad. I mean, we have Rotom, but Ice Beam is a threat. 
Mm, 204 is not bad, though. We'll go to a uh, girder here. I think they're probably going to Nasty Plot. Nasty Plot or Hydro Pump, maybe. Even Rotom's fine, to be honest. They flip turn, okay. Choice Specs flip turn. Good to know. That means I can kind of play around it if I know the moves and everything. I think I trade a Willow here. I want to burn Muck. I, I, I'm i comfortable burning Muck and getting knocked off or poison jabbed. Okay, that's good. No poison touch. Activate. But now what? I think I can go Magmortar. Uh, let's knock off. Hopefully we knock off Golduck, but knocking off Muck is fine too. It'll open up. Getting rid of an AV, for example, would be good for Darkrai and... Well, we have five special attackers, so it's good for everyone if we can knock off Muck. Now, they go to Golduck. That's expected. What do I do now? They kind of know I have to switch. I think they're going to Ice Beam into Rotom. They flip turn. Okay. Now probably Muck coming back, I have to think. Again, I want to knock this Pokemon off. Even if we trade knocks, I'm losing Eevee Light, but I'm removing an AV, which I want for my entire special attacking team. Definitely a trade. I, I wouldn't want... To lose my Eevee Light, but I think it's a trade that's worth making. Because we outspeed Golduck anyway. With Pokemon like... That's a crit. With Pokemon like Tornadus and Darkrai and Oricorio after a Quiver. Mach Punch is kind of obvious. I'm just gonna drain, I guess. I'm gonna knock off. I think it's kind of obvious that I'm gonna mock. Yep, there we go. We'll Drain Punch now. We don't faint to Psy Shock, I don't think. But we do faint to Hydro Pump. Alright, we get a flip turn. I'm going to knock out Muck here. Okay. If they go Golduck, I'm going to Mach Punch, get Chip Damage, and be happy. We've, I don't think we had a great lead match, great matchup. Lead matchup was definitely bad. But we've overcome it to make it like a 6 on 4. Now it'll be, you know, 5 on 4, but we get a lot of damage. Uh, Tornadus? Yeah, I don't mind that. Uh, Grass Knot's accurate, so we'll go for that. Don't think there's really a Pokemon that can take on Tornadus to the point where you wouldn't sacrifice Golduck. Okay, they go to Gouging Fire. Do I? I Nasty Plot. I don't faint to any attack, and I Oko with Bleak Wind. But I have to Terra Flying to get the KO, though. Yep, I don't faint. And I get that. So 5 on 3, I did have to give up the Terra. And they have a Scissor. I'm going to go Magmortar. They can predict it. I'm fine with that. Kind of obvious that I'm going Magmortar. Yeah, the prediction didn't do anything. Fire Blast should be good. I, I doubt they have, you know, Golduck and Gouging Fire. They have another Water type. I was just about to say how I doubt they have another water type. Rotom outspeeds. I'm going to go Rotom. Even if they go Scizor, I can Willow the Scizor. And very likely they're going to take Heart and then Terra Steel. They Scald, okay. That's a free Thunderbolt. If I can bait the Terra, I'm happy. They have another counter, okay. Ori... Oh, this is tough. Okay, so 227. That's fine. I have to keep Pokemon around for Fioni. I go Magmortar. Best case scenario, I dodge Leaf Storm. I don't, but I at least pressure them now. Taking more recoil. Do I Quiver? This might have Terra Stellar Blast, but if they Terra Stellar Blast, they can't Terra Fionn. So I'm actually comfortable with Oricorio here. I want them to Terra Blast. Terra Stellar Blast, rather. Oh, they have Glare. I forgot about Glare. Ah, that's tough. That's real tough. Okay. At least if I 
get an attack off. They go Fionn hard. Yeah, I, look, when you have five special attackers into a Calm Mind Pokemon, you're going to have to play a little differently. So I'm going to have to adapt here. I have, mm, let's nasty plot. They Terra Steel, which I don't mind. That's actually the best case Terra for me. Hmm, <laughs> but I, yeah, this is kind of ridiculous. We'll have to nasty plot and then focus blast. Yep, I get Scald Burned because why wouldn't I? Now we kind of have to hope for Choke. They should be switching out to, like, uh, Superior or something. Okay, yep. Well, th they did stay in, but it is what it is. Now we have to crit Heat Wave. No, okay. And we lose now. I think I'm going to end the video there. Thank you, guys thank you guys for watching, and see you guys tomorrow.